Hey guys, welcome to my channel Halloween Happy, where Halloween is more than just once a year. In today's video, we are going to look at the sneak peek of Grandin Road's Halloween Haven 2021 Halloween line. So not last year, but the year before, I don't think we did one last year, but usually I try to do a video checking out Halloween Haven so we can look at it together, have a little bit of Halloween fun, and I thought today would be the perfect day. I actually saw that they released it this morning. I've been checking it, signing up for the email newsletter and whatnot. I have like a list of sites that I always check, that I always see. If they've announced their Halloween line yet, Grandin Road has. So we're going to go through together looking at their Halloween sneak peek for 2021. And I hope you guys, um, I don't know, I hope you guys like this kind of video. Let me know in the comments below if you do. I definitely like doing them. I will do more of them if you guys like doing a little spooky online window browsing, I should call it. Maybe we'll come up with a fun series name for this. Let me give you a little background with my love for Grandin Road and also Halloween Haven. I know I've said it before, but I'm just gonna say it again. I love Halloween Haven so much. Every year I look forward to it. It's one of the first things that, that I kind of used as a count down to Halloween and that got me through the summer. I ran upon Grandin Road a long time ago when Martha Stewart sold some of her product line with them and through them and so it's just always been a yearly store that I check out. I've gotten many pieces from Grandin Road, especially on clearance. If this Halloween stuff is not in your budget, which is totally normal, totally cool, because it's not really in mine, if I'm being honest, there are some beautiful pieces that I will find each year, and I'm like, oh, I wish I had the extra budget for that, or I wish I had the extra cash, but there are always those pieces that I weight on and then I end up kicking myself in the butt because I like regret it. They are a little overpriced, no offense, I have like a hair somewhere around here. I didn't even think I was going to be filming a video today so we're just chilling in a sweatshirt, have the hair half up, half down, keeping it casual, keeping it creepy but casual. Raven's behind me somewhere, she's being so cute. I was editing the, showing you guys the process of my Halloween office and I saw this and I was like, okay, let me grab my camera, we need to look at this together. They offer outdoor decor, indoor furniture, a lot of wall decor, planters. It's kind of like a Pier 1 Imports, I think, but just online. Before we get into it, if you guys want more Halloween happy, you can check me out on Instagram. Instagram. It's at Halloween Happy. I also have a Facebook page. There's a lot of Halloween Happy friends over there. I think we are at 77,000 people over there, which is insane. And by the way, thank you so much for everyone who has subscribed to my YouTube channel. I finally reached 17,000 subscribers, which is insane. This year marks my sixth year of doing my channel. It's been a slow growing process, but I still love it so much. And I just appreciate you guys and all of the support you've always given me. So let's get into um, the Halloween Haven line. I'm going to put my little screen down below and and give you guys the larger version of this website. So as you can see, Halloween Haven is right here and I can't tell you how many times, how many years I've said it that Halloween Haven is my jam. I love it so much. Even if I can't afford some of the stuff or any of the stuff, I still enjoy partaking in the countdown to Halloween Haven and just uh, just all of their decor. If you didn't know, you can request a catalog. I don't know if you're like me, but I love collecting any kind of Halloween magazines, Halloween catalogs, anything I want it. Usually I can get three, around three catalogs out of the season where the first one has a little bit of a sneak peek and then the second catalog is usually all of the Halloween Haven and then the third one is 
a little bit of fall and then it goes into Christmas with a little bit of Halloween like in the very back of the catalog. Another one of my favorite things that Grandin Road does for their Halloween Haven is they release a video showcasing all of their Halloween decor, how they have it set up, how you can use it. They just try to show you all sorts of different ways that the decor would work. I just love these videos so much. Every year I squill just watching them, but I just love it so much you guys and it's my dream to do like set decorating for Halloween Haven specifically for this video. I can just see it in my head. Like it would just be so cool to check it out and see the process of how they do it. But I'm gonna stop rambling. I feel like I've rambled enough. Okay, so <laughs> I I'm I wish I would have watched my last video that I did on this because I know some of the stuff we all agreed it was a little pricey, but there were some decor pieces that they brought down in pricing. All right, so 2021 sneak peek. And I looked a little bit ago, some of the stuff actually was already on the site. So Thank you, Grand and Road, for trying to make us feel special, but I've been creeping on you for a while now. Let's go. So we have Shop All Halloween Decor, Halloween Under 50, Outdoor Halloween Decor, Indoor Halloween Decor, Wreaths and Greenery, Pumpkins. Oh, those look cool. We also have Lighted Decor, which is my favorite thing to look at, even more so because I don't have a yard currently. We have Animated Figures and Decor Entertaining, which is another category that I love to look and shop for when it comes to Halloween. Fall decor and also costumes and accessories. I'm so excited, you guys. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go under Halloween under 50 since I kind of touched on their pricing. Okay, so I'm just gonna say, I hope this video isn't gonna be too long. Um, okay, so here we have this gun metal tabletop skeleton. I'm just gonna like use this as an example. This little guy normally, he looks like he's pretty weighted. This, I'm telling you, they've dropped their prices. I think they've, they're hearing us, they're listening to us, you guys. This, there's no doubt about it that this would have been like $56 in the past. I put that on my soul, I really do. All right, Grandin, so thanks for bringing down those prices for us so all of us can partake in your beautiful Halloween decor. We have these bungalow pumpkins, which are cute, if that's like the vibe that you're going for, very subtle, spooky. That can definitely be spooky, and you can definitely got that up. Um, so we have some Halloween bats. It looks like we have usually the classics, like they do a lot of the set of three spiders, bats. We have all of these fairy tale pumpkins. This is really cute. We have this corner spider web, which I feel like Spirit Halloween also has this. And I'm telling you, Grandin Road probably would have charged. $40 for this in the past and I'm gonna have to check because I've always loved these Eyeball orbs. I see them every year. I love them so much. I think Michaels had a version of these eyeballs last year if I'm not mistaken. Get a set of eight for $34.50 and I feel like in the past they might have been $45.00. If you guys can hear any talking, it's because my windows are open. It's a really nice day today. Yesterday it rained all day and now it's just kind of like cooling off and it feels really nice. Next we have this undead crawling hand. I actually have this. I got this on clearance a long time ago and I love to turn it on for my Halloween parties and just have it crawl on the floor. They usually provide the videos with each decor piece if it's like a moving or animatronic, some kind of prop of the sort. But see, look, this is like how they do their video. It's so cool. But it's just like this on a bigger scale for their video. It's so cool. Turn the volume down. Okay, so this is like, <laughs> here we go. Here's the classic Grandin Road, which is totally fine. Some people would pay $130 for a deluxe animated dragon book. More power to you. Let me know what you do for work. This animated eyeball doorbell, I hope you guys can see everything. This, 
you can get at Big Lots for like $15, also TJ Maxx probably for $9. I think I've said that in the last video. I also really do love, even though they're it's not in the price range that I would be okay to pay for, I love these silhouettes that they do and it's just so cool especially how they set up the lighting in the video and in the catalogs you can get a better picture but it's just really cool they offer like different kinds of halloween accessories that you might not see everywhere else we have these spooky halloween keys i love these i probably would get like the black set so those are pretty cool let's see 1950 to 24 dollars i'm assuming this one is the 1950 i wonder Yep, the black is the 1950, and then the gold, of course, is going to be the 24. I'm so excited, you guys. I'm so excited. And then you got the good old skeleton mice. So another thing that I love to buy is pre-lit any kind of garland, any kind of spooky garland. I love it so much. You can do so many things with it. You can dress it up for all sorts of other holidays like Halloween. You can dress it up for even summerween too. Put some out on your patio and do like a summerween setup. You can also do it for Christmas. So many ideas. I love this vintage flicker light strand. I feel like last year Target, they're usually like my go-to spot for Halloween lighting. And last year, I just don't think they had that many options, which, yeah, it was COVID, so there wasn't a lot of product that was being sent out. I totally get that. But I'm really excited just to see what all of the stores have. What are these? Battery-operated Halloween strobe disc. We have a lot to get into. These are so cute. Pumpkin bell stems. You get a set of three. If you guys don't know the story with these jingle bells, where have you been? Those are cute. For $40, though, you could totally HIY those. Um, yeah, $40 for how many do you get? Okay, a set of three, okay, for the set of three, I would pay $40 if I didn't want to create it myself. Who has time for that? We got to do all the other Halloween things. Oh man, liquid fog. Ugh. I'm getting the chills, you guys. So we rent an apartment and I really want to throw a Halloween party, but I don't know if I should because I'm like, if I'm going to do a Halloween party, I don't know if you've seen my old videos, but if I'm going to do a Halloween party, like I need to do it. And I just don't know, maybe like a Halloween dinner or something. I definitely want to do a little, a little something because I miss throwing my Halloween parties so, so much. I love all of this personalized skull and cross, crossbones decanter. That's really cute. $40. Oh, that's not bad at all. Especially if they're going to personalize it for you. Do they personalize it? Oh yeah, it's free. Oh, I love that so much. You can never go wrong with any of these spooky wine glasses. Um, if you really are looking for them, you can, you'll find them at TJ Maxx and Home Goods and Marshalls this season. These shot glasses, they're really cute. They look really nice, but you'll find them at like TJ Maxx too. Sorry, Grandin wrote. <laughs> oh, this is fun. So we have this animated vintage Halloween radio. That one's actually on sale right now. Um, I feel like that is a repeat, which is some of these are repeats, but that's fine with me. Looks like they're doing more spooky themed pillows. I feel like fall is usually done more with their pillows. So let's go ahead and do outdoor Halloween decor so I can pretend that I have a yard and that we're throwing the biggest Halloween party ever. I'm so excited. Oh, guys, I can't tell you. So when I started doing my Halloween parties many years ago, it was like a dream to get these life-size ghouls. I just loved them so much. I think that you can get them from, you can get a type, kind of like um, a cheaper version from Oriental Trading if you're looking for something like this. I love this deluxe animated brewing witch duo. This is $400. Would I be able to afford that? <gasps> no, but I feel like you could do a setup like this from Big Lots. Usually they'll have witches that they sell that you can get for like $20, $30, maybe $45, um, but you can make your own setup like that. Do they have a video for this one? 
get flames, cauldron light, and the eyes glow. Oh, look at them. Oh, so fun. I wonder what they're saying. To keep you on a well lit path, or soon you might meet your end sitting in our cauldron bath. <laughs> Oh my gosh, give, give me all the cackling, why don't you? Just, just cackle in my face. Do you guys remember, it's like maybe two years ago, At Home came out with all of the dragon themed decor. I was never about it, but if you were, I'm not judging, we all have our own taste. I'm not judging, but was that your thing? Because it wasn't mine, but I'm not judging. I love this foggy Halloween cauldron, but you could totally do a setup like this for less. And I've raved about these before. I love these pre-lit broomstick pathway markers. You get a set of three for $130. It's five stars, so they must be pretty good. Um, I just think these are the cutest thing. And I have this old Halloween binder that I would print like recipes and decor ideas before Halloween, before you can find it on like Instagram and all and Pinterest and all of that stuff. And I saw someone that did like a DIY of these witch brooms that were lit and I printed out the photo. I still have it in my binder. I thought about doing a video of going through my old like Halloween bind my Halloween planning binders. Um, but I just always wanted to do this as a craft project i think it would be so cool the life-size yvette witch for 99 that's not that's not too bad then we have some ghost and figurines a lot of repeats which is totally okay with me this is cute i love this porch jack-o-lantern that's 150 dollars. let me go back to that um but this pre-lit drippy garland i love this stuff so much I just like to drape it and layer it. Oh, look how spooky that is. It's $99. You get 100 orange lights. I've always been a fan of these luminaries. Enter if you dare. These are $130. Like, they're so cute though. The skull metal fence, $60. Is it really metal though? here we go again with the silhouettes these look so good um but if you're like crafty and you know how to cut wood you can definitely do this on your own no fence screen in the road no fence. um what is this porch jack-o-lantern guy i think he's so cool is someone crying outside it's because they wish it was halloween okay what is this large glittered jack-o-lantern decor Flat bottom to sit securely, prop and urn for added height. Do we have a video of you? No video, but it's freaking cute. And I love that it has, it's kind of like the clear glitter beads, you know, not like your traditional glitter, so it seems. I know some of you guys, I don't know, I feel like most of you guys are not crazy about glitter Halloween decor. I, you know, I'm not like obsessed with it, but I enjoy a little bit. It depends if it's like garland and trees, something I don't have to touch too much and I can just put somewhere and let it be is fine. Like lanterns, um, candelabras are fine. Picture frames, I'm not really too picky, but it has to be like the good glitter where it literally just sticks to the decor piece and doesn't fall off beware bird bath that's fun you could probably do that create your own with some stuff from like um big lots black crows set of four sixty dollars oh look how beautiful these tombstones are i will say i have several tombstones that i think look good and i think they're good quality i got them from target many years ago and they still hold up really well um but these look like i mean these are pretty intricate so i could see why they would be 130 dollars i'm so excited i think we're kind of getting into the repeats oh man if i had a house 
through a Halloween party, I would get these or I would try to recreate them, but I love these pathway markers. Oh, it's so good. Like just having people come into your Halloween party. I know that I would always greet my guest. I'm really like missing my Halloween parties. Can you guys tell? I, it's like all I talk about. Um, but I loved like having people line up and I would give them like tickets for giveaways as they enter. Also welcome them with a drink or a shot. And then I would give them like glow sticks to put around their arm and like do a little Halloween stamp. Cause I love making my Halloween parties feel like you're going to like a club without all of the anxiety and expensive drinks. Oh, but I just love outdoor decor. Oh, this is cute spiderweb doormat for $79.50. I wonder how big you are. This is another project that you could recreate. I'm excited. I've already started a list for my HIY series, so stay tuned for that. I've always thought these pre-lit witch hats were adorable and oh my gosh, we have some LED signs. I feel like some of these might be new. Oh my God, look at these pumpkin luminaries. <gasps> these look beautiful at night. Whoa, those are so cute. It almost looks like a neon sign, you know? Whoa, those are really cute. It's probably priced separately I'm assuming so the short oh, how much do we think the tall is gonna be so the short is $79.50 the tall is not the same price they're the same price which I'm really shocked by that what else do we got here okay so these pre-lit signs I love I love this jack-o-lantern one I don't love the price $329 Ooh, the switch one I like this one's also $329, oh my gosh. Very cute though. All right, oh my gosh, they have more. I saw these online last year because I was trying to find some more neon signs. Wow, these are really cute. I love this Happy Halloween one. Oh man, this pre-lit oversized boo sign. This one's $89, so these are a little bit smaller. I love that trick-or-treat one. This oversized boo one is really cute too. What would you buy if you had, I'm like, what would you buy if you just had a thousand dollars on Halloween decor? Ugh. How long have we been filming? 29 minutes? Ooh. So this last page is just all autumn stuff. Um, indoor Halloween decor. Oh my gosh, I feel like I haven't even gotten into a lot of it, you guys. Be sure you check it out so you can look for yourself and see everything. This deluxe animated ghost mirror, this looks amazing. This has a video. I love it. Oh my gosh, it looks like someone's in there. I love this. Motion activated to reveal ghost within. Surface lights, blue. Ghost moves hand for $159. It looks pretty good though, guys. Animated service bell with sign. Looks like you get, oh, that's fun. Okay, so some of these they have in multiple categories, so I'm just gonna scroll by them. These are definitely such a Grand and Road classic. Look at them, they look so happy. Well, some of them. <laughs> some of them do. Oh, I'm so excited. This just has made my day. More autumn stuff. Entertaining. Let's do entertaining. Because I love shopping for this stuff. Oh, I love it so much. Just all of the platters, the plates, the bowls. I just, I love it so much. It's like my favorite thing. I just love setting it up at my Halloween parties and just having spooky food, like just a spooky buffet of all the creepy and delicious food your little Halloween heart can think of. I'm just very excited. <laughs> I remember one year they had like a floating broom. It's like a, they had a big one and then a smaller one and I got the smaller version because it's all I could afford. And I, I still have it, but it 
rolls around on the floor and it's so cool because if you put like the fog going on I'll put like the hand crawling around and then the brooms like gliding it's just so spooky and everyone's dancing the Halloween music it's just so fun I wish I wish I could throw a Halloween party for all of you guys and you could come we would have so much fun animated floating candelabra they had this last year oh here are the animated floating brooms they're so cool look at them so let's see these are 69.50 a piece man if you had like a halloween wedding and you wanted to do it kind of like magical magical pumpkin themed this would be perfect i love it i'm gonna check out the costumes and accessories before i end this video first of all these spiderweb ponchos are just every time i see them anywhere no matter what retailer sells them i always think of grand road Grand Road was the first that I saw carry these spiderweb ponchos. They're so beautiful. This pumpkin poncho though, I love it so much. It's so adorable. But is the price adorable? It's 89. Look at how, stop it. Look at how cute they look. They look so happy, even though they're like, hey, I'm just, I'm working. I have another job after this. Have another job modeling something else it's it's not even halloween why are we doing this why are we here but they look like they're having fun all because they're in the halloween ponchos so cute okay and also if you were to get a poncho and if you wanted one of these from grand and road you could totally multi-use it you could use it for a tree skirt for your halloween tree i'm just saying i'm just saying you could put it around your halloween tree capelets ponchos they don't have the cloaks yet usually they'll do like these beautiful white cape cloak kind of thing and it's like they also do one in black and they do one in red they're so beautiful it's like made out of tulle but they look really nice and there's a lot of like substance to them let me know if you shop at grand and road let me know if you're aware of halloween haven that's gonna be it for I need to come up with a name for this. I don't know. I'll have to come up with something for this, but um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Let me know what store that you are excited to do some Halloween shopping at. Have a few videos coming. I want to do a video of like just my Halloween shopping wish list like my want list like what i'm looking for and all of that stuff just let me know what you guys want to see and i will do my best to make whatever videos those might be if you're new to this channel please help me out and subscribe it would mean so much to my halloween heart and don't forget to turn on notifications that way you guys are notified whenever there is a new video out i was going back and forth so much with trying to nail down an uploading day uploading schedule but i feel like we're just we're starting to get in the in the pattern of where there's always going to be something halloween coming out something that i'm doing halloween related i think i'm just gonna post randomly but not randomly like i'm gonna have new videos coming out but i just one week there might be one video one week there might be two videos there might be three who knows if that makes sense i think we'll see unless it's like a last minute video like this i'm i'm not sure but hang in there with me like i mentioned at the beginning if you guys want to follow me on instagram it's at halloween happy i also have a facebook page all my social media links are listed down below i cannot talk today i'm so excited uh but i hope you guys are all doing well let me know what's new are you throwing a halloween party should i throw a halloween party should i just do like a halloween dinner keep it low key like it's not gonna be like good old halloween house party sam style but it, it can still be like i don't know like a cute spooky a classy dinner i don't know i can't make up my mind anyways i'm gonna stop rambling so i can finish editing my other video which is my office update you guys will probably be watching this video because i think it'll be easier for me to get this up than 
the other one but anyways <laughs> as always thank you so much for watching i love you guys i hope this video finds you having a halloween happy kind of day and i will see you guys in my next video <laughs> honk <laughs> and i will see you guys in my next video bye